What's up? Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, good morning, professional photographers of Idaho and beyond. I'm Bob Ryder. I'm Larry Fry. And we are uh, two of your PPI board members. Correct. And we are bringing you a fantastic episode today. Yeah, this is a good topic, and it it, it uh, this is true to my life right now. And you just unloaded on me yeah. when you got here this morning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and well, it is true to your life and too. I, and I think it's true to almost every. And it could be a barrier to some also. So we want to. It really is. Yeah. So so great we're going to talk about being overwhelmed today. To to today. Yeah, I mean, today. Like, like I got to come and stand next to you. Yeah, that, that's overwhelming. <laughs> <It's overwhelming. laughs> uh, um, no. So this topic about being overwhelmed, and, and I'm just going to prime the topic, and then we're going to move on to a couple of great quick announcements yep. about um, our fall retreat and uh, maybe chat a little bit about our next uh, luncheon and things like that. Right. And then we'll come right back into overwhelmed. I've got, um, I've got some great tips on how to manage being overwhelmed, mm -hmm. stress reducers, stress blasters, I like to call them. And I think anybody that's been in the business as a solo entrepreneur, uh, whether you know that you're blasting that stress with what you're doing or not is a, di is a different question. Yeah. But I think everybody probably does something and they feel better afterwards, but they're not exactly sure why. Yeah. We're, we're here to clear I've that identified up. a few things yeah, that really yeah, work for yeah. me. And then I'm hoping, I really am hoping that, um, that the folks that are tuning in today are gonna share some of their best yeah. Uh, stress reducing tips and 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 how do you manage being yeah. overwhelmed and all of that so Mike, I know Michael Collins is on yeah so how did I he manage it he came home with 8,000 images <laughs> <laughs> wow Michael how do you manage yeah, 8,000 yeah. images first right? of all I I'm in awe uh, Michael you shot stuff that I mm. probably would not even look at I I, uh, I I would imagine everywhere you swing your camera, yeah, there's something to there's shoot. something to yeah, photograph. Yeah. You just and have I'd to look. Love to hear how you and, handle yeah. that. So anyway, good morning, Mike. Good morning, Mike. Grab <laughs> grab your coffee. <laughs> That's what I'm missing. You didn't bring coffee. I didn't today. bring coffee. Today. I didn't have my second cup of coffee because I didn't want to be like, oh, well, so I already had my coffee. I changed my workout to morning, and I haven't had squat. Oh no. It, well, other than squat. So this yeah. is a plea. For coffee, <laughs> please interrupt us. Bring us coffee. Yeah. Anyway, um, we need a coffee shop, right? Eighty-six hundred, eight thousand six hundred. Yeah, Michael says. But you know what? I, my my two studios ago, I had a coffee shop across the parking lot. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I would occasionally kick, next time. I would occasionally kick a parent out of the studio and be like, "Here's t here's five bucks. Go get a coffee across the way." <laughs> so I can work with my senior. So I can work <laughs> with your student, right? Um, all right. So listen, a yeah. uh, great topic today, and we're going to come back to it here in just a minute. But I do want to uh, to mention our fall retreat. I am so excited about fall retreat. Um, we are trying to make arrangements for my wife to be able to join me. This is a retreat. And, and by its very nature, it's a time to relax, it's a time to be social and engage with my peers and see people I don't get to see from all around the state and run the camera on stuff that, I, that, that isn't critical work, that I have to produce, produce, produce. And, and I think that's important that I, you ought to repeat that. This is I, a I can't retreat. repeat that. That not, just came off the cuff. Right? <laughs> this is a retreat. It's not, uh, it's a time to relax. It's and it's a, a time to be with your peers, and, and it's a time yeah. to enjoy yeah. yourself. It's a time and to not connect. get wound up in uh, whatever, whatever you want yeah. get wind, wound up in. Uh, now, will there be some learning? Sure, absolutely. absolutely. But it's not something that you know. I've got to go to this class because I've got to know how to do this. Yeah. Uh, this is like you know what I so, want to learn how to do. So let's draw the 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 difference. Let's draw um, uh, an illustration. When I go to conference. When I go to imaging or WPPI, I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run probably 14 to 16 hour days. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take pages and pages and pages of notes. I'm not there to go see the sites. I'm not there to party. I'm there to just absorb all the knowledge I can. Yep. That's my approach to those things yep. because that's the way I spend my money to get there. Right. right? So, so you're all about it and that's all about being a professional and all about learning as much as you possibly can yeah. on the topics well, you want to learn. And because there's yeah. usually so much of um, between the pre-convention classes and uh, the workshops, sometimes there's photo walks and things like that. Yeah. Um, there's a great, <laughs> for imaging, and I wish I could go, but I, there's other things we got going on, but they are doing a CPP only safari into Washington, D.C. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh my gosh, yeah. it sounds yeah. amazing. Yeah. And, um, but 
our affiliate leaders day. That's Friday, isn't is it? Is Saturday. Saturday, huh? Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're already, I'm already traveling in early because I want to be I want to be at that affiliate leaders day all day and I know uh, some of our board peers will be there and that you know what that is for me that's an opportunity to connect with other affiliate yes. leaders yep. from other states all around the country so that you get different ideas and you know a long time ago I, I would, in my another lifetime ago uh, I was in a job that they required you to move around and uh, much like the military you know moves you around and uh, different other various organizations move you around and you know, at first I was kind of like ripped about that because like, I don't, know, I don't want to move, right? <laughs> but after about the third move, I got it, or second move, I got it. You figured you know? it out. Yeah, because you're, you're working under different people that have different ideas, that have different ways of doing things, even though the goal is the same goal, the, the, the techniques are different. You learn different ways of getting to yeah. that end result. Exactly. Oh, that's so and valuable. That's, and, that's, and that's what we do. That's, that's how come this group is so valuable. Yeah. Listen, if you haven't joined yet, you should, and, they, and that's one of the, only one of the reasons is because there's, well, all of us are a resource on getting tasks or ideas done or procedures done that you may not have thought of before. Yeah, so, and we're gonna come back to that in yeah. our topic here in a little bit. I didn't mean to steal any thunder. No, 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 because yeah. procedures are part of my solution. That's true, right? that's true, yeah. So, all right, so let's come back to full return. Let's we'll put the slide back up yeah. for a minute. This is a great let's, opportunity to take a note or two. So listen here, it's at Teton Peaks uh, Resort uh, over in, in Tetonia, actually. Uh, Kim Minter was just there. Minter, I Minter know. you did it right. Kim Minter was just there and uh, sent us a video. Uh, of oh my gosh, the place looks yeah. fantastic. Fantastic. We're in so site we're, number 21. We're going to have, <laughs> we are going to have We're a taking our time. travel trailer over. Yeah. So we've got a full cup site and I'm going to say this, they gave us a nice discount. Yeah. These I guys would, are, so here's the deal. These guys want us there. This is not something that we, you know, I mean, when I called them, they were like, he was all excited. He was all about it. We're, we're, we're past the peak tourism time, yep. which is awesome. We're going to probably hit the tail end of the colors, which is, we're still going to have good colors, so yep. don't worry about that. We're on a place that's got... Talking about the seasonal colors of yeah, the yeah. landscape and such. So it's just going to be awesome. It's and, we be have, and we have, uh, if you haven't been out to the website yet and taken a look, if you go to the events page and you go to the, click on the 2021 fall retreat. Tell them the website, Larry. PPOfIdaho.com. <laughs> and then underneath that, if you keep scrolling down, there's the schedule of events. And I know we uh, are going to go over that in a second. But right. uh, that is, we, we have, this good time to get your learn on. And listen, it's all about fun, right? So, and and social social activities, not socialism. I about blew that one, but uh, <laughs> uh, it's going to be a ball. So I, I this is wait. September twenty fourth through the twenty sixth. Yep. yep. Uh, my wife and I are traveling over on the twenty third. We're going to start a night early. I want to be uh, relaxed mm -hmm. when the day of comes around. That gives me some time to do organizational think, things for the for I know PPI that, as well. And I know I'm going to go early too. So. I think well, we're going to caravan. Well, yeah, I think we are too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, so you watch my tires blow out, or I can watch your tires. <laughs> let's not. Uh, uh, let's not. We're not hoping I, for that. Um, all right. Gonna, so I'm going to I'm going to put this slide up so they okay. can see it. All right. Um, we've just got some great programming, and and I just want you to know that while we've got a lot of programming going on, while it looks like a very busy schedule, it really represents options yes. for you to do things that interest you. Right. Um, this is kind of like. Oh, oh. Going on a cruise and taking advantage of the activities that they have right. planned, or hang out by the campfire, or spend time on the, the oh, or dip your toe into something new, or dip your I mean, toe into something like, new. Like for example, I, I don't do boudoir. Uh, I've tried, I've done it, and it, I, it, they look horrible, right? So I just don't because it's not my bag either. Yeah. So uh, there's a rumor going around. I might. I might. Go watch Carly Moon's presentation. Yeah. I don't and, think I'm going to get my camera. And but. learn a little bit about yeah. how she's handling the process, right. how she's interfacing with the models and the environment. Yeah. Um, she's excited. So, we had her on the show last week with Jen. So interfacing with models is such an important topic for all the males I, out there that want to shoot yeah. females. I'm telling you, uh, it, and I know that uh, Carly will do a great job, but I'm telling you, it, this is probably... Uh, if you go work with a model, this is one of the, and you're male, <laughs> this is one of the biggest areas that you can excel in, and then you will not have trouble getting models for the rest of your life if you yeah. do this correctly. Yeah. So yeah. It, anyway, all I was, this is. Good I was stuff. in my bank yesterday and talking to the teller, and he 
says, oh, you're a photographer. He was looking at my business banking. He goes, oh, you're a photographer. He goes, I've been trying to break into a, a, into modeling, but I, I need like I need a portfolio, but for a portfolio I need pictures. So I'm like, dude, here's my card. Yeah. Like I know a few people. <laughs> I know a few people, and I could probably get to uh, some modeling gigs. Yeah. And uh, we talked a little bit briefly about TFP and and what that means uh, to trade his his appearance for some pictures, right? So, so this whole thing over there, just like we've been talking about, it's one to the other to the next, right? Yeah. And uh, we get to watch. Uh, you can work work with some horses if you want to. Yeah, so uh, Craig I'm Lermier, gonna run we, down this. We're gonna do some landscape photography, yep. uh, boudoir nature, like you were talking about with Carly. Um, working with equine, that's Carrie Grant. They're, they're we, bringing horses is, to this event. Carrie, no, so I'm confused, Kim or Carrie, if you're listening, are you both bringing on horses or is it just one of you? I, are we gonna have horses? I mean, I'm not sure it matters we, whose horse I, it is, but I want to know we got honestly. Thir Thirty people there. And horses. Horse. If yeah. you're not horse people, horses are kind of terrifying. If you've ever walked up to the side of one of these beasts and Never put did. your hand on it, and you're like, yeah, there's solid muscle. And if you've ever ridden run, I mean, it's like a rocket between your. I mean, it, <laughs> you've got nothing but muscle. Your With its own will. Yeah. Oh my and, gosh. And if they want to go eat, <laughs> they will. Yeah. All right. So we're going to come yeah. back to this slide for just a minute. Um, I, I, you guys can all read too. Craig Lemire is coming out to yeah. teach uh, yeah. some lighting. That's going to be a neat opportunity. I've been following Craig for years. Yeah. Long before I came to Idaho. Yeah. And now that I'm here in Idaho, I realize he's here. Yeah. And he's coming to teach he's for right us. Over, he's right over there. That's Washington. awesome. Yeah. Saturday's got some uh, great stuff going on, and uh, in the morning, in the afternoon. Anyway, uh, yeah. Sky Facets, bring her drones up. She's going to uh, talk about working with drones. Yeah, and, and, um, and then, then a little landscape with Josh after dinner, uh, and dinner's on your own. So listen, there's not a lot of dinner places over there, but that doesn't matter. There's Striggs, it's just right down the road that has restaurants in it. Titonio, I think, only has one. Uh, but then what's really cool about Saturday night is that we're, we're going to basically have it. It's kind of a fireside chat. Yeah. Uh, with is that Jen. when Jen is coming on? Yeah. So her I was thinking, I haven't played this to Jennifer yet. Uh oh. But we should probably record this class. Oh, I. I should think probably so. bring my should, yes. production yeah. and and record her. Well, you're going to have to have the stuff there. We're going to do a live from there, aren't we? Oh boy. <laughs> so <laughs> depends how good the internet is out there. You know, we're going to find out. We're going to find <laughs> out. All right. So we that's really great. To, we might have to record the live and uh, then just put it up on YouTube. Yeah. If yeah. the internet's not. So, I want to. So we're we're pushing our time limit yep, here yep. just a little bit on our announcements. I, if you couldn't tell, we're excited about fall retreat. Yeah. And um, we want you to be excited about fall retreat too. Sam Marvin, our uh, one of our board members, has put most of this together. The uh, instructors and the program yep. and done a fantastic. And job. as usual, I think Adrian Alvey's going to come out and do some food for us. Yep. And oh, that's another thing too. So Friday night, I, I think it's mm. yeah, oh, right, right, right. The, yeah, Friday night when y'all get there, uh, we're going to have a some sort of we're going to feed you. Yeah, sponsored by us. So no extra charge. You just want to make sure that that's out yeah, there. Yeah, included in your in uh, your, uh, in your event. Yeah, and, and um, you know that's a, th another great time. It's going to be a pit opening social get together. We, we, not, I, I don't know the the uh, menu yet, so I can't say we because I don't know. Food, but, but food, yeah, food. <laughs> uh, and really, that's all I care about. Yeah, because <laughs> I like all of it. We're either going to burn some meat or smoke some meat. I know that. There you so, go. Yeah, yeah. So awesome. That's it. Um, so then, let's talk about um, who you got your phone handy. Yeah. Whip out your phone. Tell me what the first Friday of next month is. Yeah, that's. Is that day. the third? Hang on. Somewhere on here, I have a calendar. Boop, 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 yeah. boop, boop, boop. Who knows what the first do, Friday do, 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 of do. next month is? First Friday of next month is the third. Third of September. Mm -hmm. We will be uh, having a luncheon. Our, our, our Friday monthly Friday lunch. PPI lunch. Yeah. Which is a get together. It's a social get together. So we had about 15 people there last Friday. That's missed, awesome. Missed you. I, I know. I know you were with your. I just your could wife. not be there. No, it's all good. He had anniversary time with his wife. All good. He's he's absolved. Um, so yeah, 15 people there. We meet at uh, Idaho Pizza on Fairview, one o'clock. No host. Uh, sit around and eat pizza and talk to your friends. Yeah, yeah, pretty it's good. good. It's yeah. really good. Um, so then, uh, first and third Tuesdays of the month are our members connect on. Um, well, we do that on the Zoom platform. Yep. So that'd be the seventh and the twenty-first. Okay. For next year. Uh, so next coming month. up next month, do we yep. have any more of this? We should have one more this month, right? Uh, 
third, the yep. third, first and third. No. Yep. Well, we have a Tuesday this month, but it's the fourth. It's actually one, two, three, four. It's the fifth Tuesday. We have five Tuesdays. <laughs> That's why we do first and third, so we avoid that fifth yeah, yeah, Tuesday month. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, first and third Tuesdays for our Members Connect online. And I want to get to our topic. I'm going to come back to it here. Um, let's roll hard into this. Yes. And uh, have some conversation about what this looks like. So our topic for today is overwhelmed. And I, you just need, they need to know this is born of what's happening in my life right now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's what's happening with my life and my business and, um, and kids and all of the things that contribute to our emotional state, right? And, and uh, you came in, I'm gonna come back to us here. You came in this morning and we started talking about this topic and you're experiencing the same thing. So yeah. your J-O-B, your W-O-R-K, which is not <laughs> photography, yeah. is busy right now. Yeah, it's going game. Right? Just, yeah. And you're working on a website or two. I, two websites. Two websites. Okay. And, and I just got my, so I have, a lot of you know, I'm going to a bridal uh, portrait session instead of the wedding, actual wedding. And I actually have two of these things booked for next year uh, and working on one for later on this year. And, I'm at, and I got to think of just I know, a couple of days ago, like, what am I going to include with this? What does what, this look like? What, what does it look like? like I, I know what you created I, a thing. Yeah, I know what I want to do. <laughs> now, how am I going to do it? How do you do it? How do so, you execute it? What do you deliver? It, yeah, and it took, you know, I had to sit down and okay, what if I do this? And how much is that gonna be? And how much, so it's a business plan. That so. process yeah. is one of my points coming up. Okay, so let's just start by saying overwhelmed could be with time commitments, with travel commitments, with commitments for your kids or your husband or your animals. Um, and I, still trying to do your job or your, 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 or your, your if photography you, job, if you, if you, if you If you take a job, that's work outside the home. That's work outside your your hobby or whatever. Yeah. Um, I've I've got a gal that's working for us right now, um, and she calls it a hobby because she doesn't want to have a job. <laughs> right. A job would be going back to work. She doesn't want that. This yep. is a hobby. It happens to pay her some money, and she loves doing it. So that's I mean that's a pretty good fit, right? Um, but, so, but now it's turned into a job she just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, That's good. So I want to talk about uh, just giving you the foundation for where I'm at this week. And, and we've talked in the last couple of weeks, probably two weeks ago, we were talking about things are busy for me right now. Um, we went to uh, an office yesterday and produced 49 headshots. Let that sink in for a minute. Somebody say that was quick to you? Um, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, and but now that we've had that conversation, you and I have had that conversation about that. That was quick topic. Um, now I can say it's 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 quick because you've been touched by all these fantastic people right. getting you to the process where I have to run the shutter. And they're like, yeah, that. So they're getting it right. We're starting to, and that was fruit born from that conversation with you. Sure. Is it? it <laughs> It's quick in front of the camera, yeah. but it's because we've taken the time to do all of these things leading up to that point. Right. So we're busy right now. Um, we're busy. I've got a kid in, in club volleyball. I've got uh, another one traveling right now with uh, his girlfriend and their family. And now we're suddenly thrust into taking care of their dogs because their dog sitter didn't show up. And like life is busy, right? Yep. And this is not unique to me. I know that. Life is busy for most of us, and the tendency is it can be a little overwhelming. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, so well, when I when so I you're, so you're up against a deadline right now because you took all the headshots. Yeah. So got, that was the last 49 of a little over 100 headshots that we've, we've done for this company over the last two weeks. Um, but I have other clients working through this process as well. Yeah. And um, we had we had uh, we got back Monday from our, our anniversary trip that we that we took. We got back Monday. I had uh, studio bookings for nine people on Tuesday, studio bookings for nine people on Wednesday, and yesterday we produced 49 headshots and two team photos for this other company, right? So, I mean, that's a pretty full workload. That's a lot of people, and it's a lot of logistics to manage as well. Mm -hmm. So that has me, and I pitched this topic to you a day or two ago, 
And uh, I said, that it has me all uh, well, feeling and, overwhelmed. And I was all about it. I was like, like I was, that works. Yeah, because it, <laughs> it, it, uh, it hits everybody. I mean, and, and whether you know it or not, like your friend that thinks this is a hobby and she actually has a job. Yeah. You know, I, I, guess it, I guess if you want to reduce that stress by saying it's a hobby, that's okay. But, sure. But it's really a job. She's really got stress. She just doesn't know it. So, um, you know what I I really respect about her is that um, I literally almost daily right now, I'm picking up new work for the next several months, and scheduling. Here we picked up nine people here, and we picked up thirty people here, and we picked up this two day thing over there. And I'll say, you know, I text that to my group, and she'll be like, I I can't do this one. I can't do this one. I can do this one. Yep. Great. So setting limits is one way she's managing that. Yeah. We've talked about setting limits before. We've talked about saying no before, the power of no. That was probably a year and a half ago that we had the conversation about the power of no. Mm -hmm. And maybe we'll revisit that over the, the fall or winter time because it's such well, an important and, topic. And it could work into today's conversation also. I mean, if you're overwhelmed, if you're, if you're stretched to the limit and you can't, your mind, in your mind's eye, you can't possibly see you doing any more. And somebody comes up and, and says, say no. Yeah, somebody comes up and says, "Gee, I'd like to have you shoot my wedding this weekend." That'll never happen. Yep. But let's just do it for example. And you know that you're not going to do your top job, and you know you're not right. going to get it out on time. I would say no to that job because that I, impacts I literally my brand. did that this week. Yeah. One of my headshot clients from probably two years ago. His very, very sweet wife contacted me and said, hey, we love what you do. <clears throat> We'd love to do a family session around the end of the year. And I said, nope. Yeah. But let me, let me give you a referral to somebody I know who does a great job with that. They can handle you and, and create the work that, that you're looking for. So I did. I referred to one of our fellow PPI and another great reason to join yeah. PPI is it, it, we're, we're here to help each other out. And as we've discussed before, there's more business out there than you can possibly take on. There really so, is. Um, it, even if yeah. you're having trouble connecting it yeah. with it, yeah. you might be sitting there thinking, oh, this is BS, Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. I have no clients and how do I get started and all of those things. And um, I've been through all of that. And I've been through all of that. I've I relocated a successful business from one state to the other. <clears throat> made the mistake of taking on all the overhead right from the get-go moving here. Mm -hmm. And I say mistake because it was a mistake. I didn't have any clients. How am I going to cover this overhead? Right. Um, and then grinding for three and a half years. And then we're smart enough to realize when the stuff was tanking that you yeah. moved out of your retail space. We did. So, yeah. And I'm looking forward to getting back into something yeah, commercial yeah. soon. But all right, I want to talk about my number one rule yeah, for reducing stress. And it looks just like this, okay? My first rule when I'm feeling overwhelmed is to reduce or eliminate distractions. So the question that I've got that I want to present to our viewers, um, our watchers, is what distracts you? And I'm going to talk about some of the things that distract me and how I know in the coming week I have to do these things differently. And for me, that looks a lot like I have to mute my phone. I have to mute every channel that people are trying to talk to me on while I'm working on something specific. So, so I, think, I think it's important to uh, delineate distraction from responsibility. So there's, Ooh, that's interesting. there's responsibilities that you have. Your kids are your responsibility. Your wife is your responsibility. Oh, yeah. And I'm, right. and I'm invoicing a client for several thousands of dollars for work that we've done. And my responsibility is to deliver that work in a timely Correct. manner. Yep. So the distraction is, hey, Bob, let's go have lunch the uh, on a whim. Or, or the hey, distraction he, is... Uh, a potential lead, a client. I get lead contacts probably six times a day, and I need to be okay with not responding the moment that hits me. And a lot I'm, of that, a lot of that has to do with your CRM too. Also, you know, you can, re well, you won't. You'll be responding, but you're not yeah, personally responding. I, in so. my universe, um, autoresponders 
they've, if they've contacted me through certain mechanisms I've already put up, the autoresponder would just confirm right. that I've collected an email from them and haven't responded to them. Right. Does that make sense? But yeah, but it's it's also a rem uh, it's a note to them that uh, okay he got it. Yeah, well that's uh, true. Yeah, so so I I have those mechanisms in place, but at every time, eh, there are certain mechanisms in place where if if they book, uh, if they book through my website, if they book through my booking system, there's an automated process there, and I've I've even gone a step further, and Sam helps me with this a little bit, with uh, with a zap that that takes that from my booking system and puts it right into my Trello, yeah. <laughs> which is amazing, right? But those automations still require me to invoke a process, but, but, but more, but more it, than that. But it does reduce a distraction. It does. At, at that, um, at the get-go, so, yeah. It does, and that automation has done that for me, and yeah. there's more automation that I need to learn to automate more of my process. And we'll go over that. That's, yeah, that's going to be, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> so the first thing I need to do is mute my phone. Yeah. Okay, and um, whether it's uh, conversations, sidebar conversations with my peers, which we have a lot of, yeah. and I cherish, I value, uh, whether it's those sidebar conversations or... Or taking Facebook <sighs> off of your phone. Well, for me, just I, I'll i just I, leave my I'll put my phone on the charger downstairs and go up to my office and work without my phone nearby. I can't. Tell and then you. I have to take my watch off cuz it's the extension of your phone. of my phone, right? I can't tell you how liberating. That's been good for you? Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> I go, I go on that Facebook once a day and that's it. That's good. Yeah. I might try that. I am telling you. I get I'm surprised we're swinging back to clients contacting me through Facebook. We went to almost all email, and then we had a period of time where, and I've, and I've talked about this the last two years, uh, I had a period of time where the phone, like people were calling me. Yeah. I'm like, what is this thing, and what is yeah. it? Why am I yeah. talking into it? Why, why am I hauling this computer around <laughs> when it rings? Um, and now I'm swinging back to social media as collecting like bona fide work for me. Yeah. Um, I think that it's a function of where my clients are when they see something that makes mm. them think about what they need and they connect with it that yeah. way. I, I still get I still get people that message me on Facebook, uh, but I I literally and that's that's a it's it is a problem if you're one of the uh, <laughs> response time. <laughs> you know everybody says response times are the most important thing, right? That's how come you have an automated system for, is for response time, so that if you can't respond... So they know they've been hurt. hurt. Uh, and so Facebook is a hole for me. That's, that's a bad deal uh, for me. So I don't put on my advertising or my business card, I don't put my Facebook information, uh, yeah. but they can find it pretty easy. So okay. um, anyway, that's, that's interesting. That's, 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 a, that's, a pro that's probably a problem for me to tell you the truth, but I'm not, you know what? I'm not gonna back off of it yet because it's so liberating not to have that. <laughs> so that's a stress blaster for you. Absolutely. Wow, yeah, oh, that's yeah. good. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna need you to say that to me later. All right. Like. Think about how you're dealing with Facebook, because it's a problem. Yeah. Like I said, uh, this is born of real world stress right now. Yeah. And uh, so I have four stress blasters that I want to share with you. Larry just shared one. Yep. And that was getting Facebook off his phone. Not that you're not on Facebook. Yeah. You're just not on Facebook all the damn time. And I'm not listening to my phone go ding, ding, ding. No, I need yeah. to do that. Yeah. It's, okay. It's marvelous. Uh, four stress blasters, and, and, and I'm going to start with this. You know this. Yeah. You know it, this. This isn't new. But you ignore yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Let me rephrase that. I know this, but I ignore it. Mm -hmm. Okay? I know you do too. I'm going to share it with you. Here's the points. Um, four stress blasters, rest. If you are working round the clock thinking that you're hustling, that's crap. That's I a, didn't even swear. I was going to swear and I cleaned that up. That is such a misconception. Hustle is crap. Yeah. Okay. Well, or, the, or the point is, I work 20 hours a day. Oh, I, I was up yeah. till four this morning editing. Yeah. Well, you're doing it wrong. Exactly. The, okay. It's kind of like it's if you're like cramming, feeling it's kind of like cramming for a test. Right? If you're feeling burned out. <laughs> yeah. 
You're not resting. You're not, You're not resting. taking rest, yeah. okay? Exercise. Yeah. Let's come back here for a minute. You and I have talked a lot about exercise over the years. Yeah. And um, well, we both exercise. We so, both do. Yeah. I, um, but I took a break for most of this year from my bicycle for a couple of reasons, valid, some valid, some excuse. Some valid yeah. reasons, some excuse reasons. I'm gonna own that, Yeah. okay? I'm back on my bike. I am so happy to be back on my bike. I was working up in McCall uh, last week uh, for four days and I was so stressed because I, I took <laughs> like 60 headshots with me for one job and a dozen headshots for another job and a group composite that I'm working on for another job. I took all that work with me to the job in McCall, right? And I'm, I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna need to deal with how I'm stressed. So I took my bicycle with me. I rode around Payette Lake. It was hard and challenging and my bike is filthy. Um, <laughs> dirt road to dry road to wet road no. to dirt road oh, that's to dry bad. road okay. to dirt road. That's bad. My bike is just filthy. Um, and I haven't made time to clean it, but I'm going to because I have new tires coming. That could be another stress blaster. It's, it's cleaning my bike. Yeah. It is totally that. Yeah. So what is that thing that you love to do you know what I like? This is going to sound silly. For some of you folks, this is going to sound silly. If you know my past, I've, I've had a kidney transplant. I'm, I'm going to be suppressed. I de-stress washing my hands. Having my hands under warm running water is a de-stressor for me. I'll wash my hands. I, I wash my hands a ton because I'm immunosuppressed. But sometimes I'll just be like, leave my arms on sink, let that water flow through my hands, take a moment to breathe. That's interesting. It's, no, why, it's, I don't know why. Yeah, but it's, it, 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 but I, I like see, I, that I, moment. Well, I can see where you're coming from, though. Uh, immune suppressed is immune suppressed, right? Yeah, and It's a stressful thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? Um, so exercise is a key factor for both of us in yeah. how we manage our stress. And I want to talk about eating well. And I don't mean like, oh, that was so good. I ate well. I'm not eating this. No, that's not what I'm talking I'm about. Not a 16 ounce T bone every night. My wife and I have been having this conversation, and as life, as the pace of life increases, the quality of our food declines. Sure. Because we're eating on the fly. Yeah. We're grabbing a quick bite to eat. Meal prep. And it's so bad. Yeah. Um, so I have found that eating good foods, and I don't mean like, oh, I'm going to eat sprouts. I don't mean that. I'm as far from a hippie as you can get. True. Right? <laughs> I like steak, and I like fish, and I like good vegetables. I like grilled vegetables. I like sauteed vegetables. I like potatoes, and I like all of those things. None of those things are bad. In moderation. In mod well, the moderations, moderation should be on here, right? Yeah, right, too. Um, but versus, so we'll, let's put all of those things that I just said, all of those whole foods, foods that you prepare into, the, into one category and put in the other category the frozen burritos and the, the let's just say frozen meals because I could go on yeah, and on here, yeah, yeah. Uh, frozen taquitos that my kids live oh. on and um, or, or, or let's talk about the, the noodles in the cup, right, or, the ramen. Or let's talk about just hopping over to uh, the arches or the, uh, yeah, the king the, and, you know, pounding a burger. So that food doesn't make me feel good, right? Right. Good foods, good quality foods make me feel better and moderation's part of that too. Yeah. I absolutely believe in this. And um, the last thing I wanna talk about, and this is, this is gonna sound like a plug for PPI. Um, share, share what you're experiencing with your peer group, okay? Share what you're experiencing with uh, professional friends and mentors Share what you're experiencing with your spouse or your significant other or that friend in your life that's your bestie. So uh, we, everybody knows this, but it's not a secret that, that you and myself and Gordon have a little group on the messenger <laughs> that is ongoing. Yeah. It's just an ongoing call. It is an ongoing call. Yeah. And so. And it's hilarious. It is hilarious sometimes. And uh, <laughs> that's what we do. I mean, that's what we, that's. Uh, either I have a question or Bob says, what about this? Or G Gordon comes up with, hey, I got this to do. What about this? Yeah. And it's not that it's not that we don't know. We already have a pretty good idea formed in our, in our brain. But just to run it past another person yeah. is like. I run my composites past you guys. 
All the time. All the time because, first of all, if you're building composites, I just saw a Facebook post in a photography group where a photographer was looking at a picture that she delivered as a very large print years ago. She just discovered looking at it, there's a stray hand mm -hmm. in the image. Yeah. A stray child's hand between mom and dad. Yeah. And there's no child to go with it. <laughs> She's like, I delivered this like 12 years ago and I just discovered there's a random hand. Yeah. It's when you're staring at it, at it whatever <laughs> you stare at, if you're 24, 27, 32 inch screen, whatever, for hours, uh, and I've done this before, you miss, you just miss it. It just all starts. Yeah, and you, yeah, you just, and or you get into it, that, oh, I need a little shadow here. Yeah. More shadow, less shadow. Yeah. Shadow is shadow, right? Yeah. Like, how, how many, how many people out there have gone into Photoshop and, j and I, you know, I'm kind of preaching the choir here, but how many people out there have gone into Photoshop and done a ton of work, hours worth, and forget to hit the damn save key? Oh! Right? Yeah. I mean, that's what we're talking about here. It's, 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 so Bob's asking us about a composite, and basically he's asking about shadows because the work he does is good, and there's no question that the lighting is correct or the exposure is right on. But when you do a composite and, you, and you're compositing people in between people and through people and all that kind yeah. of stuff, the shadows become very important. Because like the it pants does, of the guy behind the short gal in front that yeah. you can see through her. Or, or, or the, the, the one gal with the hand, the, the, <laughs> both Gordon and I go, whoa, where's that hand at? So, you know. <laughs> right. So. Well, the big hand, right? The, yeah. <laughs> she had big hands. And, and I'm, the I'm, problem with that was, is it was on a dark background, and her and her white hand like was, popped. It was popped. Like, it was like glowing. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's the kind of stuff we're talking about. And just share, just share your work. What's wrong with this? Well, I've, I've looked for at it for uh, an hour. Last, and what's wrong? Last week. So back into our peer group, you, me, and Gordon. Last week, Gordon has a breakdown tone and trailer. Yep. He's up, you know, headed up to your uh, horseshoe band, band, whatever. Yeah. And um, I was able to connect with him. We talked through it. He was, he was. He worked it out, it turned out okay. Yep. Um, but I'm like, look, I'm coming through Horseshoe Bend tomorrow. If you need me to pick that trailer up, I can do that. Like, yeah. those stressors. I feel bad. So Gordon and Danae, I hopefully, I don't get in trouble telling the story, Gordon, but Gordon and Danae were on their way up to McCall for a, a family reunion. They literally got to spend one night <laughs> <laughs> after all that because of the all the and it, it's not funny haha -ha, it's just so ironic it's and, live and it's like it's like what i would do so like like your comment about we'll watch each other blow tires going yeah, out yeah. to to tony right like it's life so it, you know I, I don't know have you ever locked your keys in your car called a friend yeah. have you ever run out of gas and called a friend have you ever broken down and called a friend have you ever had a flat and called for a tow yeah you know whatever that looks like right so that's so coming back to the points rest take rest insist on rest exercise do it good whole foods in moderation share have a friends network so and i just want to and this is my peer network and i want to i want to go back to the exercise we're all busy okay right and i i'm busy just like everybody else everybody else but busy, busy busy absolutely make time at least three days a week. That's good to exercise. Yeah. At least, and, and that's that's a that's a minimum. And so most that's of the times it's four or five. And you don't get into and like Bob said, he said he missed uh, a biking. I've missed exercising also. But once you start doing that and develop that pattern on all these points, you're going to miss yeah. it when you can't. Do and it, I so. wish, <laughs> Larry, I wish I could say that I do this really well oh no none of us do it well i suck at this yeah yeah but but i know in the back of my mind that these are how i'm going to manage stress and yeah. when i do this better i feel better yeah all right let's go to the next thing um because that was the kind of personal stress side of things but i want to talk business for a minute and uh, i don't know what stage of business you're at um and it doesn't really matter because no. these these things apply and you can you can take each of these things in kind of um, in a in a tiered structure, right? But you're going to a lot of you are going to blink your eyes at this stuff. Yeah. Like, and Bob's got a good anecdote, so I'll stay out of his way on this one. But uh, a lot of you are going to blink your eyes on this and go, 
wait, what? Uh, you know, I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. So, yep. so let's let's just jump right on to this here. Um, we're rolling right along. 11:40. The clock just turned to 40. Um, let's hit this for about five minutes, and then we'll put I a love wrap on it. Clock, by the way. I love the clock too. It's really neat. So, uh, it's a little USB, like big digit. Cl I love the thing, right? Matter. All right. So All business concepts for dealing with stress or for feeling overwhelmed. Get organized. So I'm going to come back here because I want to talk right in the camera. If you are that true artist who doesn't have an organized bone in your body, get help. Yes. Getting organized. Um, this is where a virtual assistant might come into play. There's people out there that do this. There's there's people out there that specialize in helping you get yeah. your and, and guess what? Things it's just <laughs> to get organized, you don't have to keep those people around on retainer or, or anything like that. You can get organized on a like a like a case by case basis. Yeah. You don't have to like oh I got to go hire uh, an organizer because that's what I that do. I need an order organizer full time yeah, yeah. in my workspace. You don't yeah, need that. I, probably not. No. Yep. Yeah. Um, coming back, uh, hire help. Yeah. Um, I've just done this. Sam is really good at this. Um, we decided that we wanted to elevate our headshot experience with our corporate clients, our volume clients. These folks are used to going into a dark room, having uh, a photographer with a camera and a flash go poof, there's your headshot. It kind of looks a little better than a DMV photo, right? You know what I'm talking <laughs> Not about. Not much. <laughs> My clients this last two or three weeks have been communicating this to me. So we've, we've got these touch points. I've got somebody to ingest this person into our system. That's my wife, she handles the logistics. We slow that person down, we take a model release. Sometimes they're like, what am I signing? They haven't looked at it. Put your name here, put your name here, <laughs> sign. And they're like, what am I signing? And I'm like, this lets your employer use the image of you that we're taking. Most of my commercial clients have never had a photographer do that. And they're like, wow, you took a model release for us? Yes, we did. And actually, we're about to move that into a digital realm <laughs> where, where all of the model releases for the entire day are sent via a PDF. That, uh, it's a brilliant system. <clears throat> but that process of that person's expecting to walk in, they're str they, don't want their, they don't want their freaking picture taken. Their bosses go get your headshot done, right? So they come in the room, and it's not here, step in front of the camera. It's here. Hey, what's your name? Great. I need you to do this. I need this, this, this. So she handles that, right? And then when she's done and she's answered a few questions, she'll pass them to our gal. Her sole job is to print. I, I've, I've been talking about this a lot lately because it's really working for us. But this is, dude, I hired help. Okay? <laughs> I hired help because I was trying to wear all these hats on location or in the studio. And my work was suffering. And, and when you do volume work like you just got through doing, and it, whatever, you, it's volume work. It's volume. Um, you can't wear all those hats. Can't. You just can't. Uh, and you've also mentioned a, a couple of times you've hired extra people to get lights, hold this, do that, yep. a key grip or, or yep. whatever. Um, I've hired a couple of guys from our photography industry here locally. Now my, my gal that, that primps people, she's not from the photography industry. I don't need her no. from the photography industry. She's probably HMUA though. She's also. not. She is not. She's turned into one. She, well, <laughs> she has experience getting people, pageant contestants, ready to go on stage. That was her job. Yeah. So um, I don't need it in HMUA. These people come pretty much ready for their picture. They just need that massage yeah. a little bit. Yeah. But my point is, and, and you don't need to know my workflow because you probably don't even care, right? But I hired help. Yep. And that reduces stress for me on site and allows me to provide a better experience. Um, we photo yesterday, so coming back to yesterday's volume, we did 49 headshots yesterday um, and two teams. And the teams were six or seven people each. And then after we photographed those two teams, all those people loaded up into our headshot studio. And when we processed them through, I could not have managed 12 people standing there all like, I need to get back to work. I need my headshot. Let's do it. Um, without my team yeah. uh, beside me. It just really, really helped make the process smoother and it takes all that stress off of me and allows me to focus on what I need to focus. Sam does a good job. He's got Jamia running the office over there. Yep. Uh, doing, she's, I guarantee she's learned so much in the last couple of years working with Sam and built uh, a, f a familial, a family relationship. Uh, anyway, it's just a good thing, right? So then. So, and, and 
on the wedding side of things, yeah. that's why I insist on a wedding planner. I mean, I, yes. ins- I insist on that. Uh-huh. And, the, and the reason is, is because I don't want to be the wedding planner. I, I have enough. And if do. they don't have one, you are because you're the only one there exactly. that does weddings. And the, and the same thing with the second shooter. I rarely shoot a wedding by myself. Uh, why would you? Yeah. So well, you're you, alone for the day. It's all of their friends, all of their family. Yeah. You have really nobody to talk to except Uncle Ted. Yeah. <laughs> Who's got the white lens? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ted's always a good thing. <laughs> we were camping this last uh, weekend, right? And there was a guy walking around. He had a white lens on his camera. He's taking some landscapes. I'm like, what camera are you running? He's like, oh, it's Canon SL3. <laughs> <laughs> you know which camera? That's like the... Yeah. Anyway, Yeah. I just chuckled. I'm like, you've got one of the best lenses on the planet stuck on one of the worst cameras on the on planet. planet. <laughs> anyway, all right, so uh, this is the one. I know that this yeah. is the one you were... We're going to talk about outsourcing. Yeah. And this is the one that you Guys, were just you, leading up to. Yeah, if you've never outsourced anything... Uh, take it from a guy who has, and Bob's going to chime in here in just a yeah, second. Yeah, I am. I'm going to talk It is going to really, really change your way of thinking. Uh, yet, yeah, does it cost money? Yes. Should that be built into your price? Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to let Bob uh, talk about it. But Yeah, uh, so I'm going to come back to it this way and just say that um, we've been so swamped with volume work um, probably three and four days a week for the last month that I had to find a way to offload the handling of these files. And um, so for me, I I spent um, about an hour researching US-based retouchers. Oh, you didn't send them to India? I really don't want to. I know. I really don't want to. (laughs) There's a ton Um, of them out there. I'm not laughing at the retouchers out there. And I'm not saying that's not good. Exactly, there's just a lot of them out there. But I find it difficult to have relationships that way uh, with somebody, and, and I'm not having a relationship per se, actually they, they have called me. So I wound up with retouchup.com, they're out of Utah, mm-hmm. and I've wound up um, being contacted, my dog just walked in the room, along with my guy, hey dude, you wanna come say hi? Yeah? You gotta tell him your name. Are you kidding me? They can't even see you, you're just like this little head down here, come on up. No. Come on up, we're talking about, we're talking about outsourcing. Do you know what that means? No. That means I send my work to somebody else to do it. Not a bad plan. Gives us more time together. Yeah. I love you. Love you. You gonna take the dog back in? Oh. Okay. Yes, I work from my home. Dog break. <laughs> and kid break. That was great. That was a slobbery kid. <laughs> it's all right, bud. Um, so, so I want to come back to the outsource, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm working with retouchup.com. They're in Utah. And I know I'm working with a pool of editors. And I don't know where those editors are. But at least the company is somebody that I can relate to and communicate with um, as, a, as a native language. Yeah. OK, so that was one of my concerns there. And apparently, you smell good today. I do. Yeah? Well, I think I do. <laughs> he wasn't <laughs> sniffing there. Anyway, <laughs> um, so here's the difficulty. And for the person that says, well, this is my signature work. I'm like, signature work is great. I'm doing volume headshots. Yeah. Okay. What I'm looking for is consistent work. Well, but, so you kind of hit it on a key mm. uh, here. Uh, my signature work is outsourced for editing. <laughs> there you go. So uh, if, if you're making wall art and you're not really, really good with Photoshop, et cetera, et cetera, Hire some I, of the news. I leave it to the professionals. That's Literally. awesome. I, I I don't and and this stuff is getting blown up to thirty by forty. You know, I mean yep. they're they're big prints. Forty Not, by sixties and yeah, yep. huge. And if you can't, you know, <laughs> if you screw something up on that big of a, a, a print, you, you're going to be redoing it. And there yep. goes your profit margin just went down, you know, a fourth. Yep. Because you're redoing it. So so I've resisted this outsourcing thing for a long time because I want control. Exactly. And, so, and if you're like most artists, we want some sort of perfection. Yeah. And here's ah, a, so and, that's the key. Yeah. And here's and a here's a big. That's where key. I've got to land. Here's a big key. <laughs> Done is better than perfect. So. Yeah. I've got all this work back from the retoucher, and I've looked through it, and it's fine. It's fine. You know the. Well, if I want something done my way. I have to do way. it. I have to do it. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, I'm going to get something done by somebody else. But so the, the question is, is, is this done well? 
albeit it's not done my way. Right. So uh, the answer to that is I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove myself from that scenario and I'm gonna show all of these to my wife and ever go, those are fine, because I know they're fine, because I've looked at them, right? And I just need to have that courage to just, or this is a big step. I've always done my own retouching. Or share with your peers. Share with my peers, yeah, which I, I do that plenty. So, all right, so that's those. And then the last thing that goes along with this, listen, if you're swamped with business, you're simply overwhelmed with clients who want to give you money. You're too cheap. Raise your prices. Yeah. Um, dead, dead serious. I'm not making fun of the people that shoot like that at all. I've been through it. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm dead serious. You need to raise your prices. Yeah. And if you follow any of the business teachings from almost anybody at all, and you've gone through the profit calculator, you need to do it again. Uh, yeah, actually, and there's nothing wrong with saying, you know what, I'm going to take a little more profit. Yeah, actually, that's you okay. Sh you should be. You're doing, in business to profit. You should be doing this once a year anyway. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, but just step back, take a look. Maybe I don't want to shoot that wedding for fifteen hundred dollars anymore because, geez, let's see, that was a fourteen-hour day, and then I had uh, about a week of yeah, processing, uh, pro yeah, editing. Yeah, and so maybe that fifteen hundred dollars now doesn't quite look as good to you, and you see you're yeah. making eight dollars and thirty-eight cents an hour. Yeah, so. That's worth looking at, and that's a whole other yeah. episode, but I just yeah. really want to throw it out there that one of the ways to reduce stress is to reduce the number of clients you're working for. And get paid the same. And get, and get paid the same or, or better. More. Yeah. 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 That's valid. It is valid. Maybe we need to just hang our hat on that one of these days. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, so then I think that wraps up our conversation about being overwhelmed. I'm going to come back to the first slide here. No, I don't need to come back to that. All right. Yeah. So then let's hit this next thing. I just want to talk about our YouTube channel for just a minute. If you're catching us here, uh, by the way, Facebook would not let me link to this without showing last week's graphic. Did you catch that in Trello? Uh, yeah. That was so weird. Yeah. So I don't know that we got even announced this on, on, on Facebook this week because it just wouldn't share it right. Um, but in any case, our, our live stream, excuse me, our YouTube channel has really blossomed and we've got uh, dozens and dozens of uh, weekly lives on there now. Um, I'm featured in there, you're featured in there, Jen's featured in there, uh, Kim is featured Jen. in there, Carly is featured in there. Sam. By the way, the episode with Carly, the episode with Carly and Jen mm -hmm. blew us out of the water with number of views. Mm -hmm. It's that's been fantastic. So anyway, coming back to the, the YouTube channel. But drop, we're gunning for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're just not as pretty, Larry. Yeah, I know. I promise you uh, that. Uh, <laughs> so weekly live streams, PPI events, and that's why I think we're going to have to be down there. I think I'm going to have to bring my, my production down there. I'm going to bring somebody with me to help run it so that it's not just me. And um, we're going to offer more photography education on the YouTube as well. Like and subscribe. And then every week, you know we're going to be here at 11 o'clock, right? Yeah. We're going to be here at 11 o'clock in the morning every week with our Facebook Live. Uh, and it might not be us, because we've right. been mixing that up a little bit. Yep, and that's good. And uh, Sometime during the week, drop over to YouTube, see where we've posted that we're going to be live, and hit the reminder button. Yep. And then you'll you'll get a notification that we're going to... Hit that bell. ...be out here, yep. So subscribe to the page and like the bell, and uh, hit the bell, and it's going to help us grow the YouTube channel. And, and then... And photography education, we're going to be... We still need to, yeah, we've taken this, uh, we promised you guys we're gonna take this thing on the road. We've only done it once. We did. Yeah, so, but we do have some uh, other trips come out. T20 is gonna be one of them when we're off site. Um, and we can actually And get honestly, some. August doesn't have time for me to do anything in yeah. September. Is if we're gonna be in Tetonia. So yeah, that's yeah. that's the travel I've got planned for the month. Yep, and then, uh, by the way, I won't be here the first week in September, so. Although, okay. I, I might come to you live from St. Louis. That'd be kind of fun. Oh, you're going to be over there. Yeah, so that might Speaking be. Speaking of arches, right? Yeah, yeah, so that might be kind of fun. All right, so, so let's let's tell them about our website yeah, and how so they can get on board with our, our organization. Of uh, there's a big uh, join us button that's down in the middle of the page right there. Yeah. And I hit that. And uh, listen, it's pretty easy. It's nine ninety nine a month or. 100 bucks a year. Yeah, and it's easy. So just sign up. For and a professional peer network, yeah. it's uh, this is I, I can't even say. And, enough and about what it. we do, and, and listen, if you think just like Jen and Carly were reiterating last week, if you think you need to be a professional to be on or with us, the answer to that is no. Uh, we strive to raise the industry, yep. And by doing by raising the industry, we raise everybody in the industry, and that includes and the quality of the work in the industry yeah. and, and the that, expectation at the client side, right? And that's it's all win win, and that's all the way from the person that just picked up their camera to the... And decided, hey, I think I could be a photographer. Yeah, 
So to the folks like uh, Kim Critchfield and and Dennis um, and Sherry Hammond, and who or masters who Phil. who've been in the industry for forty years, fifty yeah. years. Yeah, Phil. yeah, that's good. Yeah, you need to be here. You do. All and, right, uh, just join us. All right, thanks for watching. Sounds watching. good. We'll see you next week. Bye.